The Christian Camp and Conference Center going up for auction nearby this morning. George and I are going to see if we can add to the 70-acre ranch. This piece of property comes with a full high ropes course. Now, this isn't all that high, maybe 12 foot. I've built these courses around the world. Literally, one of the last things I built was in South Africa, which was a zip line, which I believe is on this property as well. The very first thing I see is these are all built in pines. You never build a high ropes course in pines if you can help it. You want a hardwood. There's also trail cams there as well. I don't see anybody here for the auction yet. Uh, where you came to check it out and we, we just saw a sign. We may have to bid online. We're here in person a half hour early. Uh, we may be bidding from the truck, George. Let's go check out the buildings. Before we go to the buildings, I would say it's a, um, a medium, medium ropes course, not a high ropes course. I mean, if I can touch it, <laughs> you can touch it, probably not the highest ropes course. We have an interest in these facilities. There's four modular homes or buildings on the property. Do you think that's all? Is that all cedar? I love it. Cedar it reminds planks. me of the old cracker homes. Uh, it may, it may not be cedar. It may be, could be pine. I'm not sure to be honest, but we do know this is a bunkhouse, okay? And you can see right here, there's bunk beds in there. You, yeah, go ahead and peek in there, George. Peek in there. You can, uh, well, you, what, what's happening? I have to put my hair up. To peek? Okay, I get, I get you. I get you. So we can see there's bunk houses here. Here's another bunk. You know, there's bunks there, babe. That is a lot of rot. Oh, all right, here, look at all this. See all this? They took the planks and they put it in a, a single wide. Do they call them a single wide or is it just a mobile home? This is- I think it could be both. This is a lot of rot. I'm not sure. The, totally a lot of rot. So one of the things George and I was thinking, this is pretty close to the schoolhouse. We got a lot of things going on a lot of the times. Be cool if we could host all the volunteers that come in and go, hey, here's a bunkhouse for the guys. Here's a bunkhouse for the girls. There's other facilities over here. We know they probably have clean water, okay? <laughs> so that's a big bonus, okay? Clean water is a big bonus. I'm seeing a lot of rock. Are Look you at the seeing AC. your favorite palm tree yet? I haven't seen my favorite palm tree yet, but I do see, I do see some, some uh, old oaks. Babe, I think if we, if we win this, uh -huh. there's going to be a lot of work to be done. Oh, Look, yeah. all they did is they just screwed that into the side of a mobile home. <sighs> Definitely a ton of work. Okay, this must have been the common area right here for, for cooking. Oh, wait. Look here. This is the dining hall. That's the dining hall. You I see the really tables? See. You can't really, can you? Here, let Not me. through the glare, I here. can. You still can't, can you? There's the screen. Can't okay. see through the screen. Well, I can see the tables. Again, here, all they did was just screw planks into a mobile home. That's... Oh, my goodness. Look at this beautiful tree. That is pretty, isn't all it? All of these trees are gorgeous. Okay, dining hall is locked as well. So, okay, this is the dining hall. Mm -hmm. And look, here's- Oh, I see here's, restrooms. Yep, all right, so this must be, this must be the central bathhouses. So that's a dorm, and I'm gonna guess that's the guys. You know why I'm guessing that's the guys' dorm? Why? Because this is the women's bathroom. Okay. So that's probably the women's dorm. And then this is the guys' bathroom. So that's probably the guys' dorm. That makes sense. You see where I'm going with that? Yeah. Bathroom's open. Let's take a peek. Okay. You think there's going to be multiple urinals? Well, that would be <laughs> awesome. But who would have knew you would have had multiple urinals? Multiple showers. Look, there's a shower. Looks like it was probably winterized. Yeah. Got a seat in there. Here's another shower. Looks like it's handicap accessible. Oh, yeah. Okay. Multiple urinals? <laughs> Please. That means you got to get multiple no swimming signs. Got to be the elongated bowl. Don't okay. like it. Definitely Don't not like a urinal. It. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Okay. And elongated bowl? No. No, no it is not. Okay. Come on, urinal. Come on. 
Door number. There's another shower. Three. Oh. Nope. Them of them nasty small <laughs> toilets that nobody can fit on. You ready for this? Another shower, I right. assume. And uh, we got we got this going on too. Yeah. Huh? I don't know if I can turn that off. Come on in through here. Okay. And not a single urinal. Wow. Check out this giant mirror, though. Oh, I love it. You know what? Giant mirror is pretty cool. Elbow space for the pushing in here. Yeah. But you do get your own sink that would be, in this one. You barely let me have a small anything. toilet. I mean, technically, you could install your own urinal in here. So I would have four toilets. How many showers was that? One, two. You need to get away from the fan because that's all the sound is going to pick up is Three, the fan. Five. Four. And five, five showers. And we get this handy dandy paper towel disposal or. or Dispenser, it's not a disposal. All right, well that's one that's unlocked. Okay. You get two grills. Okay. Two grills. Look at this, I'm just, I'm really, really concerned about this. I know they had good intentions, but it makes me wonder what the tops look like. I, I mean, it'd be nice to get in there, see what kind of issues there are. Funding issues. Okay. This is going to be the utility, or what a lot of people call the pipe chase. That's going to be the utility closet where you can get to the electric and the plumbing. And hot water I think tanks I know where stuff. the urinals are. No. I think I know. No. Come on in. They would not be in here. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. Let's see what the water color is. Crystal clear. Okay. Crystal clear. Okay. I like the mirror. You like that? All right, I like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and, you can peek in every single one because okay. I think you're gonna find a urinal and I don't want that fancy. I highly, ooh, right and a sink, the matching cool mirror. Are definitely those, definitely not a urinal Are those the good toilets there. or the small round ones? Those are the small round ones, the ones that you hate. Yeah, I can't stand those. Definitely no urinal. I'll be shocked if there is one. Nope, you're out of luck, hmm. out of one. luck. Two, three, four, five showers five in showers. here as well. Okay. All right, five showers in here. It goes up for auction at 11. It's 10.38. 10.38 right now. Hey, let's Harry. See. Let's see what else we can find. Okay. At least the bathrooms were unlocked. You gotta go? No. Okay, me either. All right. So this has gotta be the girl's dorm over here. I oh, see more high ropes. there's the tree again. There. I definitely see more high ropes. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here. I think it's the girls' dorm. It's locked. It's got to be the girls'. Look, you got the nice bunk beds. Oh wow! Holy cow! I girls can, got the I can nice see bunk that beds through the through the window. It's got great carpet. Wow! I can kind of see the carpet. It's not bad. I got something in my shoe. Like, how much do you want to bid on this? My max. My max bid. One dollar. Mine was, I was going to say $10. Okay, $10. $10 is my max. Okay. All right, this is the bunk house for the girls. We got the dining hall in the middle, bathhouse in the middle. Bunk for the girls, bunk for the guys. We got a few minutes. Let's see what else is back here. I mean. What did this used to be? A stage? I don't, I don't know. But it needs to be cleaned up and burned. I mean, like everything we seem to find in Florida, it needs to be oh, cleaned up. Oh, what's that right there? I thought we would just go check it out. It looks like this place has been abandoned for a while. It does. Some beautiful old oaks. We we actually thought that the auction was going to be here on site. They split it into three parcels. One is 6.2 acres here. Let's see if we can peek. It's locked. I can't open it. But you can peek. It's the filtration system. Oh, okay. Nothing special. It's the wellhead. It's the wellhead for the water. So they're on a well. Okay. So we know they're on a well. And on this side, they should have they should have extremely clean water. So we know they're on a well now. Okay. Um, we, we thought they were going to be everybody bidding right here. They split it up into three parcels. This is 6.2 acres with a high adventure course, high ropes, and a zip line. And then there was 32 acres is another parcel. And then there's a home, which probably the director or, or somebody lived on. 
that's how they got the tra the trailer here. We got we got a deck on the back. Ooh. Should we sneak through here? Here, here. Let's see if we can sneak through here. Okay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Okay. Here is another adventure course. How do we get in? How do we get in? Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, that. wait, wait, wait. Here, follow me. Follow okay. me. Okay. I figured out this conundrum. Okay. Wait. <laughs> But I am oh. just steps away. Do you think the mower comes with this place? I'm sure it does. I'm sure everything does. Right. Keep it an eye. 1041. Okay, this is zone one obstacles. Yeah, I've built, I've built my own obstacles. I've designed them and built them. There's videos of them on YouTube. Um, this is okay right here. You see how the cable is wrapped around this oak right here. Uh -huh. Okay, oak is a hard wood, that's what you want. The other one with the pines, that's probably why they kept that one so low because the pines are unstable, it's the soft wood. And these oaks, oh my goodness, they have some on. No, no, here, here, let's look over here really quick. Okay. I, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing cables on a palm tree, which I've never put a cable through a palm tree before. But now I realize what they did. This is just a, um, this is a prep station that probably would hang harnesses here and helmets and everything mm -hmm. because there's no way you could ever use these trees for a high adventure course. And what they did, you see how the blocks are in here? Mm -hmm. That keeps the cables from choking or killing the tree. This is what's called a backup cable. If this cable fails, this cable is there as a backup. Everything on a course like this has a backup. This is, this is aircraft cable. This is what stops the jets on the aircraft carriers. That's how you build a uh, high adventure course. Oh my goodness, there's more over here. Look. Oh, I see it now. You see in? Mm hmm. This is. I see a cushioned. Is that the zip line? It is. That's the zip line. All right, this is the smallest zip line I've ever seen in my life. A cushioned platform. So they zip line from over there to over here into the cushion. So they would go into the cushion on the tree. And what do you notice about this tree? What kind of tree is it? That's a pine tree. That is not okay. You can already see where the cable is choking the tree and it's gonna start killing the tree. Okay. So, so to have this ropes course, I would have to do some major improvements. And you can, you, can, you can use a tree or you can use a pole. And a pole in Florida, I'd be a little worried about poles in Florida because sand. It's not like dirt. It's oh, here's another zip line. Oh, George, here's a big zip way. line. That zip line goes all the way down over there. <laughs> okay, there's a long zip line. So this zip line, there's a big tree over there, and we can see that zip line goes all the way down over there. Um, let's go take a little walk. We're on the other side of the zip line right now, and I'm reading the six plus acre recreational parcel. It's gonna sell regardless of the price, subject to bankruptcy court approval, prior use as a faith retreat center, two bunkhouses, bathhouse, community building, high ropes course with a zip line right here, income potential as a retreat ropes course. Now, George and I are looking at this. This place needs so much work. Like you would have to invest a ton. It's been abandoned for quite some time. Mm -hmm. I, I don't see any income potential yet. It, it'd take a lot of money. Um, let's see, repetitive obstacle course or ropes course. Uh, installed in 2016, harness house. We haven't seen that yet with all the harnesses. All the harnesses for all these courses come with all this as well. And uh, for more information, retreats, da, 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 for, da, da, they're talking about the neighboring three bedroom, two bathroom house they're selling. They're selling that separate. And they're saying that the county actually has to agree to the sale price. So it it, it sells no matter what, but county has to agree to the sale price. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can jump on the, the website to see where we actually bid. George and I just found another high ropes. Again, there's gonna need to be a tremendous, I'm looking at this right now and it's choking this, this pine tree. Whoever purchases this has to save the tree. If the tree dies, the, the zip line dies. And it's already starting to choke and cut in and kill the tree. This whole thing has to be redone. Now, I know how to do it, but do I have time with the schoolhouse projects and every other project in my life? This is a major issue, and that zip line goes all the way down there on the six plus acres. This is the office, and I think in the backside 
all the harnesses for the high ropes is in there as well. But again, it's, it's locked. It's a shed. And many people would say that it's a home. It's a, it's a tiny home. Um, Not if there's no indoor plumbing. It's a shed. It's definitely a shed. We found the bonfire area with the cross behind us. Looking at all of this, the high ropes course, the zip lines at a minimum, minimum needs $100,000 worth of work to be functional and to be safe. To, to have an outside company, you always have a third party company come in and certify it as well for safety. Um, and then you have the, the limited facilities. This place has been abandoned for quite some time. It needs a ton of work. I think at a bare minimum, you gotta put 250,000 into it. George and I were, were talking and we went, okay, 100,000. We, we would, we would, we'd put 100,000 into it immediately. 150,000 maybe with three minutes to go. And it literally is three minutes, three minutes to go. You wouldn't believe it. We didn't know it was online. We thought it was all, it's already, it's at a, it's at 155,000. It already went over what we did. Nope, it's at 160 now. It just went to 160. George and I did talk. We'll go 151 in the last minute. It's already at 160. We could do this at our own property, either at the schoolhouse or at the ranch, for the same amount of money and not have to clean up the problems. It would all be brand new. So let's get back to the schoolhouse and let's get ready for Christmas in the creek. Did I say schoolhouse? I meant the mole hole in the South Pole. Finally back home at the mole hole. Look at all this going on. We've got so much happening. George, we, we probably shouldn't even went and looked at that property, should we have? Well, we, you we don't got know more than enough. You go. We got this one for 150. That one sold for 160. We got more than enough work to do. When we talk about safety first, we're always talking about what you do in Willis. Definitely safety first on the edges of the scaffolding. No board, no nothing. Caught you, man. Caught you oh, in the it. act right there. Hey, it's cold out. <laughs> man, look at all the ice here in Florida. Grandma Gale, what the world is going on in here? Get that over there. What is it? What is it? It's some toys over there. You need to get them. Some toys? And I, Crystal's got to get them or I got to get them? I got to get them? Just so get done. And Patty, yeah. Aunt Patty you, you guys have been sorting in here like crazy. We have. And you are, the, the amount of toys and the difference of toys is amazing. It, it's crazy. It's so mind blowing. We, we lost space. We lost space in the auditorium, right? Yes, we yeah. ran out of space, and it, yeah. this way we're putting like with like in there stuff for every age and And you're interest. sorting in here, okay. Yes. So yeah, we're going along works. that way, they can grab a whole stack of the like thing. And, and, just, then, and then toss it over where it needs to go. We just ran out of room. We got too many toys you, to fit. Okay. That's an auditorium where you used Ooh. to do your plays. Do you your remember your lines? Uh, I'm just a little girl. That's it. That's it? That's it. Mom's memory yeah, is going. The, Mom's memory know. is going. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'll get some sticky notes. Oh, you gonna go get lunch? I am gonna go grab lunch okay. with, with Patty. All right, you and Patty are well, grabbing we lunch. We all grab supplies. Too. supplies. Okay, all right. Des Destiny. Destiny's gonna keep watch for us while we're going. Destiny's in charge. Look, there are toys lined all the way down the hall. All the way down the hall. Here, 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 here. In all preparation of moving into there. Seriously, man, deodorant. Deodorant, no, that's dude. Bleach. Deodorant. That's bleach. Come on, man. Deodorant. I'm sure the Hudson sisters will be here later. I'm wearing my tie. It is a bit warmer today than it was yesterday. Maybe because of all the holiday spirit that Santa's bringing. I found one brand new Santa right there. I found another brand new Santa right here. I'm at Sean on the Shelf Station. Check this out. He has a fireplace in a brick layout. The whole deal. This is going to be, I've never seen a Sean on the shelf, but this is probably going to be a yearly tradition. Brian's telling me we got a major issue out here. We're trying to put lights up so that everybody can find Christmas in the creek. You see how this says fuse plug? Yeah. I think it might be these that are going to All right, bad. plug it in, plug it in. Let's see what's happening here. So we're, we're taking power from Deanna's house and no lights? No, sir. No. And it blew every fuse all the way down the fence all the way down there as well all right what are we gonna do 
I need solutions, Brian. I hire you for solutions. I've never worked on Christmas lights before. I haven't either. You're my Christmas light guy. If we could, can we just, can we take this off? I don't know. Can you? It looks like a fuse plug. Thing. What is, is there a fuse in there? Yeah, I think it, it's Dude, like if we blew a fuse in every single light, we have to light this up for Christmas in the Creek. It says open right there. Try opening it. See if you can, don't manhandle it. You gotta be gentle. You gotta be gentle, Brian. I know this isn't easy for you. Gentle. I think my are too big to get in there. Gentle. We're hoping only this strand blew the fuses. We're gonna disconnect it. Brian just had an idea. Disconnect it. See if see if the others will light up. Brian, this better work. This please work. You got enough? You got enough? Oh man, we, we don't have enough extension cords either. We got major problems here at Christmas in the Creek. Okay, here he goes, here he goes. Oh, they, they turned on. Yep, those work. Okay, they all turned on. Okay, unplug it before the fuses blow. We need that for Christmas in the creek. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing here. This is a, a, a learning curve, a learning experience for sure. All right, Rudy, it's time to get that nose. Your antlers are looking incredible. I even like your winter gear on your hat. Oh, look at that, you just got some bells, nice. Now, the nose. Can I get it to where it needs to be with a little bit of duct tape? From this view, everything looks okay. I'm hoping nobody gets up here in the rafters and peaks, because that's the battery pack. I'm gonna have to go down below and see if they can see it. Travis is taking Disney animals and, um, whoa! Whoa! That's genius, man. They're gonna be watching all the kids. How cool is that? We got Mickey and Minnie up there. Destiny, are you having fun outside? Yeah. You're, oh, are you pushing Mickey? Yeah. Oh, I bet Mickey loves that. Okay, Destiny, I'm gonna go check out Rudolph. Okay, here's my deal. I got a battery pack. I taped it up with black duct tape. Hopefully, more Mickey and Minnie's. Hopefully, nobody's gonna be able to see the battery pack They'll only be able to see the nose. I see Grandma Gail looking. I see Crystal, Crystal. What do you think? What do you think? Will I be able to blend in the battery pack? I forgot to tell you. What, 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 okay. what? So what? What? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a rain on him. Ah, perfect. Perfect, okay. Well, once you get under here, woo, you can't even see the battery pack. No. I'm loving it. Whoop. I left some duct tape. Oh, Thought you were afraid of the heights. Yeah. The heights scare you. Do it scare. Uh, and still, mind. no shoes. She misses two days, has FOMO like crazy. She has so much FOMO because she's not been here. And now she's running around the schoolhouse in yes. no shoes. Stop! You're lucky. You're lucky we don't have any rules in this schoolhouse. I thought there was rules. Go what are fast, the rules? No breaks, have fun. That is the rules. Go fast, no breaks, have fun. Sherry knows the rules. She took an entire tree out with those rules. She went, I never break the rules. Wow. Okay, this, this Sean on the shelf area is, is looking spectacular. I'm really liking it. And now we got candy canes hanging from the ceiling, icicles hanging from the ceiling, Travis. ornaments hanging from the ceiling. I like to hang it from the ceiling for too long. Let's not go that, let's not go that route. Let's not go that route. Rudy, Rudy, I'm so sorry she's hurting you. I tried to treat you the best. Is that gauze? Are you, you putting some nursing techniques on Rudolph or what? We're, we're making him beautiful. Okay, I, I think he was beautiful beforehand, didn't you? She's definitely okay. roughing him up. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was beautiful beforehand, didn't you? Well, he was, so you put an ugly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Duct, duct tape is not ugly. Duct tape fixes everything. I've been sent back to the shop at the ranch house. We have no more extension cords. We have to figure out ways to hang up lights on the inside. Whoops, I dropped those. Uh, that's not going to do it. Okay. Sponge, window seal, duct tape, rhino grip. Adhesive strip. That may be the way we go. I don't know what we're going to do, but somehow, some way, we've got to get all these decorations up. Gone forever in the shop. I almost got lost. The only thing I can come up with, Jessica, for you to hang all those lights, uh, we should probably go look at those lights, right? 
Let's go look at those lights. Let's okay. look at them. All of these lights that we found in that storage unit, the only way I think you can secure them, you got those ones on over there? Yeah. Okay, I got very small staples in here. You have to have a sure shot, sure shot. If you splice the wire, the lights die, yeah, that's gonna happen to you as well. <laughs> yeah, that will happen. You have to be very, very careful. Challenge Line it accepted. up. I saw Joyce inside here. Joyce has had a whole nother night to think about this. Last we saw her, she was up at eight toys. Joyce, what do you think? 10? After you got to sleep on it, <laughs> 10 toys. What do you think? Yes or no? 10 toys. Joyce, you're surrounded by toys. What do you think? 10? Let her think a little bit more. What did you say, darling? Thinking. Oh my goodness, she's still thinking. Joyce, 10? Yes or no? She needs time to think. She's got a step. No, Joyce. No. No. Make them wait. Yeah. Leave them hanging. I can't believe this. Oh, oh. So I find out on the day of how many actual. <laughs> I can't this. She said, I love you, Jeremy, but you oh, gotta my wait. My goodness, I'm dying. Oh.